Hello everyone! Hey, this is Good Fun 2 and welcome back um, to Pokemon Trading Card Game, I guess. So I've got another stupid deck. This one, basically, it's another Dragal deck. Basically, just using Poison Cultivation to deal silly amounts of damage. I realize Garbodor, like, it's really obvious. I'm sure other people have done videos explaining why this is a good move. Wait, one second. I just realized that the text there is huge. I'm sorry about that. Like, that is absolutely huge. I don't want it to, like, obscure, like, half the screen. Um, can I make a smaller still? Yeah, I'll just make it like that. Okay, anyway, so, Garbodor poisons them, because, like, they have to already be poisoned, so it's sort of like, yeah. but I realize Garbodor can do that really easily, and Dust Island lets you, um, g gives you the ability when, like, either player switches their poison to active with, when they're benched with the effect of a trainer, the new active now is that special condition. Which is really useful because switches and stuff oh yeah and the cradle that stops special pokemon that are affected by special additions from retreating so they're basically locked in which is why i called it a poison lock deck not because it like locks your opponent from doing well it does it basically locks their active pokemon in the active taking ridiculous poison damage until they just yeah. Also, it two hit KOs any Pokemon in the standard format right now. In any in any format actually. Because it can do deal, deal three forty, I believe. With or three eighty actually, so it can no, no, I don't wanna go first. Because of that. That's the exact reason I don't wanna go first. I probably should have explained like the draw support and stuff, but it's just your like generic not really running anything. Yen Mega? Yeah. Why are you running Yen Mega? Uh, just no. That didn't seem very good. Of course they'll probably beat me if they're y OP Yen Mega deck. And they'll be like, oh my gosh, my opponent has no idea what they're doing. This is so hilarious, lols. Oh, they mulligan, this is fine. Oh yeah, the mulligan, yeah. yeah. Caterpie. And Sobble. I'm guessing they combined the theme deck. Just guessing here. Ooh. I think I want more cards here. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Um would really like a, yes, a Trubbish. Exactly what I wanted. And I'll put Scrout, because basically, you cannot really, um, you can't really, um, your Dragal will die. They only have 120 health. So they will die. So you just have to keep them chaining with the ordinary rods, which I've been able to do really well. And usually, because of all the multiply st prize decks running around right now, I've been able to beat my opponent. Or, but before, like, they take all their prizes. Ooh. That one Pokemon Center lady was really annoying, because it stopped me from being really good to play there. No rare candy. Oop. That's a questionable strategy. One second. Uh, my tabs. My other thing somehow. There we go. That's the obvious play there. If I got a Garbodor from this, that'd be amazing. Yeah, not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, it's quite annoying, isn't it? Because it's gonna make me use Sharp Vent. 
So the Pokemon already has to be poison before, so that's why I didn't use poison cultivation. Thought that'd be so it's all explanatory, but maybe not. Looker whistle? Mm. Wait. <laughs> why? Is that just there? Is it like Ah, oh, what is this? I'm not gonna lose to this, am I? I mean, this deck, the thing about this deck is it really relies on being able to hit your draw supporters because this happens a lot. Maybe I should add more, maybe I should add some Cynthia too because I'm already running four Marnie and four Professor's Research. Just not getting it. Yeah, maybe I should run. Like some Cynthia as well. Not very helpful. You know, I'm changing the deck and running some Cynthia. I'm not counting that. I probably might have been able to win if I just held out for a really long time, but. Yeah, I run some Cynthia. If I did, what would I take out? I, I, I also should probably max on Dust Island. Because it's like a huge part of my deck strategy. Maybe. This hand is disgustingly good. I mean, it would have been better if I had an identified fossil, but I'm not mining this way. Or professors researching. Well, if I... Eh, I'm not going to get greedy here. I noticed a lot of Charmanders recently. I feel like I'm... Am I the only one who's noticed, like, a huge... Charizard infestation in the meta. Oh, that's great. I just need to get. You actually don't lose your Pokemon a surprising amount of times here for some reason. I mean, you're winning the prize race here usually. With Dragog because it can destroy multi prize Pokemon very quickly. Oh, I think I've read about these. There's like these weird GX box things that people sometimes get. I didn't get one. I love how I was, last game I was complaining. How I couldn't find any uh, any professor's research in mine, and I've got both in my hand, and I've got to get rid of one. I'm probably gonna use professor's research though, because honestly, I'm not really losing that much. I mean, the worst thing I'm losing is Marnie. Uh, I'm gonna evolve that, so I feel like that's sort of the obvious thing to do. Well, I'm losing Switch, but I I run for Switch, so I'm sort of fine. This would have been, this would have turned an okay hand into a great hand if in this hand I had, um, if I had Garbodor. Because I would have been able to use Poison Cultivation. I just realized we're like 10 minutes into the stream and I haven't even used the Poison Cultivation yet. I haven't even taken a prize yet. <laughs> Okay, it looks like the O's aren't really blocking anything. 
Darkrai. But, if I cross my fingers, I'm going to do that and try and get that so I can actually start taking some prizes. But, it seems like it's, why is my Garbodor always getting prized? Every time! It's not even funny anymore. Okay, yeah, it still is, but. I don't think Marnie is a really good play, so I'm gonna... Also... How many Dragog can I get set up in one turn? Grand question. If I get Green's Export... Well, no, I can't use Green's Exploration, actually. But that's basically what you do with this deck. Over and over and over. The only reason I'm running green, the Green's Exploration is early game, so I can get Garbodor and mainly Cradle layout. If I could get um, a Rare Candy, if I could draw a Rare Candy, that'd be amazing. Because the thing is, they can just retreat. And I've probably won games because having a Cradle layout on my bench, they can't, meaning they can't retreat. I'm fine with that. I mean, it sort of depends on what I draw, but I only had three cards in my hand. I'm absolutely fine with that. Because I'm going to put the horror energy onto this scroll. And I'm going to Professor's Research. That's giving me more cards. Oh, and this, in this deck, you almost deck out a lot. Because that's sort of the nature of the deck. You just sort of just run through it. Yeah, it's really gimmicky, but it's also really fun to play, so. I mean, I think it's fun anyway. It's definitely a lot better than my first version. So I'm getting a KO here, no matter what. That's really annoying, but I'm gonna have to discard that because I want to get the most card. Come on. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. This is good. This is very good. Also, I can do that. I think my scrap got prized, which is sort of annoying, but... Yeah, now I've got the full lock going, and it's sort of just how many times can I get set up. So it's not hard to set up. Set up. In fact, I've set it up most games, but if you don't get it set up... Well, Cradle isn't as essential, but they can sort of just... I mean, they can just, you know... gonna win I think I, if they don't have a basic Pokemon from this I won you know I'm gonna count the loss that I did because I can see this yes I lost my thing yay I have a good deck, actually. <laughs> um, 
I've already won. I literally have won right now. What? Because at the end of their turn, that. Well, no, I haven't yet won yet, but. I've almost won here. If they don't get a basic Pokemon, then I've just won. Oh, wait. Oh, that text is huge. I want to make it readable, but not, like, obnoxiously. I'm sorry, I'm just messing with the text the entire time. Yeah, that's fine. No, I just won! Dude! Like, oh, I got you. Like, oh, no, you didn't. Oh, wait. I've got to track the win. Um, they're playing a fighting deck. It's probably Axe Drill. Am I getting to that point where, like, decks are actually going to be, like, competitively viable that I'm coming up against? And not just. Um, what do I like to go first? Oh my gosh, this hand is amazing. But what do I do with it? Pretty sure what I want to do is use Green's Exploration to get all my pre evolutions on my bench. So I'm going to want to grab a quick ball, and I'm going to want to grab a. Um, something. Geodude. Ball toy and I secret wear a quick ball. <laughs> Why? I mean, it's obviously Dex because they're up in like two star versa, so they can't be. What's this thing? Another Green's Exploration. Those are both the ones in my deck, coincidentally. So it's really awesome that I've got them both because guess what I'm gonna do next turn? <laughs> I'm going to grab an evolution incense, and I'm going to grab a, um, a rare candy, and I'm going to get Cradle out turn two. Um, I think that's the play. So I think I'm getting a KO next turn, assuming they don't somehow evolve this into a really overpowered golem or something. I'm sure this isn't a lowland geodude. It's, you'd think it'd be a lowland because this is from Hidden Fates, the Sun and Moon era. Played all. Ah, it's one of those things. I mean, you're not going to be winning the prize race here. So, what is the point? I'm getting a KO this turn. No matter what, so I'm gonna grab Evolution and Incense and Rare Candy. Because that's the hardest thing in this deck to do, is get Cradle out on the second turn. So I'm gonna take full advantage of that. Because Garbodor is to help me get the poison. Cradle is just an essential part of the... The whole thing. Done. Also, it's really nice about this deck is it doesn't deal damage through attacks, even though it likely obviously does deal damage. Well, you're gonna sacrifice yourself. Great move. I really need a quick ball, honestly. Um, what retreats does the garbage that I'm using have? Just out of curiosity. As for two cost of two, which is better than Cradle which is three. Okay. There we go. Well, we're gonna have to do... I'm winning. Like, why are you doing this to yourself? It's really annoying that they. Played all and then, like I don't understand the strategy 
that you're going for here. Mm, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just left the great ball. Bad move, but who else was it? Think about switch. Okay. Uh, I can't attack with anything that's other other than Dragog because I only include psychic energy. <sighs> I should really include like three Aurora energy in my deck or something just because of this exact reason. I'll be really annoyed if I get beaten by this. So I might be able to get back into the game. Next turn, the turn after this one. Maybe. Um, or not, maybe I could just draw two Dragog. be dealing like no damage. What is this person doing? To be fair, they're probably wondering that about me. What is this person doing? Just desperately digging through my deck for a quick ball is what I'm doing. I don't understand. Thank god I got a concede. I really didn't want to have to deal with that opponent. Uh, so far we're 2 1. It's not bad. All, all the games have actually been really quick, I noticed. Um, so, yeah, let's do this. I have been doing so good on Starling Coin Flips. Mulligan! And also now they know that my deck has stage 2's, Psychic Pokemon, most likely. And poison, which is just great, and evolutions, which is great. Yeah. Oh, gosh. This is actually really annoying. Well, I'm going to do this, but that. I'm basically going to use every card except switch in, and then Professor's Research. Oh. really like is a um, a trubbish so I'd really like because I can't really get poison without Garbodor I swear if they use Hopper and GX right now Yeah, I would have been sort of annoyed if that if that hit, because I'd be like, ah, why? Why? Why did you waste your once per game GX attack on that? Honestly, it's not a 
can move. I'm just gonna bring it back to him. So. I got a Shabash, which is nice. I need energy next turn. I can best just research for it. Now I've got a couple of evolutions getting ready to be set up for a really good professor's research next turn. I don't really even have to discard much of anything. Oh, damage! <laughs> damage by attacks, that's great. That is just fabulous. Okay, this is my chance to actually get back in the game. Because if I don't get what I need from this, I'm probably gonna lose. <sighs> Come on! I'm not gonna be able to win because my deck's both turned to stage one. And I can't get one on my bench right now. I mean, I might as well just concede. Oh my gosh, I can't really do anything with this. But I'm probably going to lose the game now. I really need to grab a single jig. And... I still have... Yeah, I did. I'm just going to be standing here. Like a sitting duck. Until, um... Gonna have to sacrifice something here. Probably an unidentified fossil out right now. I'd sacrifice that, but I'm gonna have to get rid of the trubbish, which is really annoying. It's my only way of dealing with poison. I don't think I'm gonna win this. I think I've already lost. to grab that. I really... Wait, how did this trubbish get there? I wasn't paying attention. I zoned out for a second. I'm assuming. That was just... I drew into that one, right? Yeah, I did. Of course I did. I think it's a bit too late for me to be all almost set. If this was like... The second turn of the game, I'd actually be quite happy with this. But I'm sacrificing a scrub because, yeah, I'm gonna concede because I don't think you guys want to watch me lose for any much longer. Um. Also, I think I'm gonna end the stream here just because I wanted to do just a quick little stream, like just a nice little relaxing thing. So yeah. So we went two two this time. Oh wait, I just draw something. Uh, that you you haven't been able to see what part of the thing there. No, still, come on. Come on now. Okay, yeah, that's better. Um. Ah, uh, well, 
thank you all for watching.